Hello everyone, welcome back to a brand new video. For those of you who are new there, hello, my name is Jess, pleasure to meet you. In today's video, we are going to basically decorate my bookcases. on making this video you guys actually I originally just had in mind that I was going to make my bookcases more Christmassy but I thought that y'all would really enjoy looking at this kind of the befores and afters trying to figure out like what my thought process is which really there is none but I thought it would just be really cool to film it for you guys and basically have this be the Kickstarter to the 25 day countdown to Christmas I'm so excited now I pretty much have only had the chance to get a couple of boxes out from one of our closets. I haven't really looked into them, but I do know that they have some trinkets here and there. I don't want to clutter my bookcase. That isn't something that I want to do because I fear that, you know, I'm constantly going to be taking books out here and there. And I just want to make sure that nothing topples over, nothing gets like in the way. So we're not going to have a very cluttered bookcase. The only thing that I want to make sure happens is having a garland hang at the very top. I do have one that I got from last year. I don't think it will cover end to end, but I'm thinking maybe it can cover the middle and then we can have some little trinkets on the side. Just something to kind of make it more traditional on the top. Other than that, guys, I don't have anything else in mind, but I did have the chance to go to Barnes & Noble today to pick up some Christmas items. Well, really just one Christmas item, but it is this mug, you guys. This says, my holidays are booked, and it's a Christmas tree made out of books. I thought this was so cute, and honestly, I don't know if I'm going to use it or make it a decor piece on my bookshelf. I don't know. But I did see this when I was trying to go Christmas shopping, trying to get an early start to be honest, and I bought this for myself. So we may or may not use this, I don't know yet, but I wanted to show you guys just because it's absolutely adorable. Okay guys, I kind of have y'all situated on our bookshelf, but that's totally fine. I have some things around me, I don't even know if you can see, but I'm kind of thinking top down approach. So as you guys know, I'm going to be using this garland to kind of coat the top. Now, like I said, it won't go from end to end, but I'm going to sit this as evenly in the middle as possible. Now, it might need something to kind of hold it down. So, I have a couple options. I think I might put this in the middle. It says gather, which is really cute. And just kind of have this sitting either on top, not on top of it, but like kind of like this. I don't know if y'all guys can see it but make it look more festive like that. And then to keep up with the gold, I have a gold Santa Claus where he can actually sit on one of the shelves. So either he's gonna be sitting on top or I'll find another use for him. And then I have this gold reindeer. So it's those or the other option, if I don't do Santa, are these cute little like cones. Now they're gold and red, but I. I think it'll match. There's three of them. They look like this. They're very sparkly, very beautiful. My mother-in-law gave them to me last year and I absolutely adored them. So we have some options. Plus we do have some other garlands. So that's kind of my thought process for the top. And then essentially speaking, what I'm going to do is just kind of go through these. I have these from Target actually that I bought um, not too long ago. They're just cute little, <laughs> I think these are penguins. Yeah, they're, well, they look like penguins and one of them is kind of like in a marching band suit and one of them is actually Santa. So we're gonna kind of find places for those. And then before I kind of figure out all the other stuff, I do have firefly lights or they're called um, 30 battery operated lights. They're LED bulbs and it's the 34th and main. I got these at HEB. I got two of these and they require AA batteries. So I got some AA batteries. They're somewhere on my desk. So these are probably going to be kind of on the outskirts, I'm thinking, or or if I have enough, they can just drape down. I really don't know yet. I might have to pick up another one, but we'll see how it goes. I really don't want to do that. I'm kind of lazy. So without further ado, I'm going to put you on my tripod and we're going to get started. Yeah, let's see how this goes.
You guys, my bookshelves are completely decorated for this Christmas. I am so excited. I kind of wanted to show you the LED lights. They are honestly spectacular. I just turned off my light, so I only have my ring light on me right now. And they are so freaking bright and they make everything look like just kind of magical and whimsical and definitely what I'm wanting for this Christmas season. But I am gonna show you kind of a close up right now so that you can see each detailed Christmas decor piece that I decided to implement because you can't really see the top part right now, but I will definitely show you right now. Okay guys, so this is the very top part of the bookshelf. I have gather, I have a cute little reindeer on that side. I'm currently standing on top of my chair, but I wanted to show you kind of the top part and what it looks like with the fairy lights. I think it's definitely beautiful, definitely whimsical for the holidays. Okay guys, so we're gonna start with this shelf just because those are purely just books. I have two wooden cutouts from Alex. He made those with our Glowforge machine. He likes to make different types of wooden cutout things and so this one is just a cute little snowflake i don't even know if you can honestly see the design but yes there you go i have a couple of these and then this one was um the birth of baby jesus where the three wise men came and then we have a cute little penguin bird and a santa claus suit and then on the next shelf, I didn't really put too much except for the snowman right here. He's just a very traditional winter-esque snowman. I didn't want to like put anything really too, too much. Honestly, depending on like future book situations, I may have to move him or put these two books standing up. Who knows, but for right now, he is there. And then on the bottom two shelves, I have the cute little mug. I'm gonna show it to you guys. This is what I got from Barnes & Noble. It says, my holidays are booked. And it's really cute. It has a Christmas tree in the form of books. And then we have down here just a cute little snowman. It's kind of hard to see him but it just says snow and there's nothing else on the bottom shelf just because I don't really go down there and I didn't really want to decorate it too too much so yeah now in the middle we have this cute little countdown this is a old family heirloom pretty much from Alex's side of the family that his mother-in-law gave me actually a lot of these his family gave us when we first moved into our house just to kind of get us up and running for Christmas but this is really cute. I used this last year, so it's just a countdown. So it is ready for December 1st when we do our 25 day countdown to the holidays, to Christmas. And then right here, I basically put my wedding album up top and, <laughs> and basically replaced it with Santa Claus. So we have Santa Claus here. Just again, another traditional decor piece. I think it's absolutely stunning. Very traditional. It's Santa working on, it looks like a rocking horse. And then he has a few other like traditional Christmas presents such as a teddy bear and a nutcracker and stuff like that. And then as you can see down here, we have a green nutcracker. Can't remember where I got him, but I've had him for several years. And then this is a Santa that sits I was going to put him at the very top, but I just thought that we just had way too much going on. It would look too busy. So I decided to put him here. And then down here, it's hard to see, but there is a snowman family that just says joy. And so they're right here. And then the only thing down here, this actually turns on once I have batteries. This is technically a snow glow and it has a gingerbread house in the middle and then when you turn it on it sorry guys when you turn it on it just lights up and then it just looks really cute and it looks like there's snow and glitter just falling all around the gingerbread house we are officially on our last shelf so on this top shelf we have a gingerbread station that my mother got me a couple years ago and i just thought that this would look honestly amazing right here just because we do have more gingerbread stuff throughout here just like for example i showed you the little gingerbread snow globe and then here we have just a cute little stocking and then behind it you can't really see but we have two more of those wooden cutouts that alex made the only difference is that this one if you can see it is a small town I don't know where he got the idea or the inspiration, but he made this a little over a year ago. So definitely keeping that there. Then we have a penguin slash whatever looking bird this is. I don't even know. It has like a penguin's face, but this is a marching bird, marching band bird, I guess that's what you would say. Really adorable. And then nothing on this row just because there's too many books. Now on the last shelves, I pretty much just put snowmen. So again, we have another traditional snowman. This is the sister to the other one that I was showing you. And then we have two cute snowmen that are together that just kind of look like people in their daily routine. And then 
I didn't put anything on the bottom shelf because again, I don't really go down there and I want to kind of showcase everything here up. All right guys, that concludes today's video. I really hope you enjoyed it. I'm quite pleased with how all of this turned out just because I didn't have an idea in the beginning, but this honestly is screaming Christmas spirit and I'm so ready to embark on 25 days of bookmas with you guys. And if you like this video, please hit that like button so that other people can watch this video. It really supports my channel when you do so. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that bell notification so that you're in the know when day one drops tomorrow. And as always guys, I will always have my social medias linked down below in case you wanna follow me on other platforms. And with that, I will see you tomorrow guys in day one of our 25 days of Bookmas. Bye.